my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me so welcome to today's video which is going to be another lifestyle video and today we are going to continue the weight loss series so if you're new here I have a whole playlist of my weight loss series of course on my channel I'm going to link it here and of course you will find it also in in my channel on my channel and um, if you're interested in watching the videos that have come previously now I'm not a doctor I have to say that I'm a registered nurse but I'm not claiming to have like complete knowledge of everything but I do have a lot of experience like really really life experience in this whole regard of weight gain weight loss eating disorders and all of that so just saying if you're new here um, I'm a person who knows from experience what she's talking about but I, but I do not claim to have complete knowledge of everything and also of course every case might be a little bit different because we all have a, like a different starting point from where we start obviously okay so today we want to talk about portion sizes and portion control because that is actually a topic that has been highly requested and I wanted to already get to filming this much much earlier but I wanted to do some research and also I wanted to speak actually with my therapist about it Esther love you I know she's watching <laughs> And um, that was really, really important to me because she has really carried me through this whole, this whole everything. She has carried me. And I also, I just really want to encourage you, if you feel like you're struggling with this whole topic, get yourself help. There is no shame in getting help. You know, even if you have been in therapy and you stopped, like I did, and then you fell off because something happened in your life and it just threw your balance off and then you suddenly started struggling again and you gained weight and you feel completely bad about it, like I did, don't hesitate. Don't wait. Don't think, let me try to lose the weight and then maybe in two what months I get help. Don't do it. Get your help right now. You deserve it. You deserve to have the help right now and you do not need to struggle for another two months or for another two weeks. Just imagine, just imagine how much damage you can do to your body in those two months if you do not get it back together, right? So let's just grab the bull by the horns, <laughs> as we say, and let's get help now because now is now and we live now and now is where we have to take action. So that is what it is. Okay, so today I want to actually start out with something with a very, very nice I don't know, picture um, that Esther, my, th my therapist, actually showed when I went to therapy. And I want to sort of, I'm just gonna show you, okay? So she took a bag, okay? So she took a plastic bag, and I'm just going to, like, it's just a, like a sandwich bag, okay? So she said, let's say that this is your stomach. This is your stomach when it is contracted, and it's like squeezed tight because it's empty, okay? Because the stomach is a muscle. And this is like, it all comes together with the portion sizes, okay? Don't worry, we're getting there. This is just building the, the base for this whole information, okay? So let's say this is your stomach. Now, when you feed yourself, of course, the stomach has to open up, right? So let's just put in a normal size amount of food, okay? So I'm just going to use a scarf <laughs> because that's what I have here, okay? So let's just say, and it doesn't really matter if this is the actual amount, it's just the picture so you can understand what I'm saying, okay? So let's just say this is what you're eating and it for now, for the time being, it doesn't even matter what it is. It could be white cabbage, it could be french fries, okay? So let's just put this in the stomach. So let's say that this is your full stomach. Now, when your body is used to the small size that we just saw, where it was just the size of a fist, then this amount of food will already trigger your stomach to release the, the enzymes or whatever it is that get released and sort of transport it to your brain to tell your brain that you are satisfied, that you're not hungry anymore, right? Because the second the food starts to press against the walls of your stomach, this is what happens. And this is why I always say eat slowly because this whole process takes some time. It takes around more or less 20 minutes for the reaction in your brain to like, so you can realize, wow, yes, I am actually satisfied. I don't need to eat more. So just imagine how fast we eat and how much we can eat in 20 minutes. Like you can eat, I don't know, four burgers 
and french fries and drink like two liters of cola in 20 minutes like if you're eating like me or like i used to eat okay so let's say this is the stomach now okay this is a healthy amount of food in your stomach now already now your stomach is quite stretched out but of course once digestion kicks in and whatever it will all go back to normal it will all go sorry <laughs> that looks probably very clumsy but you know we have to work with stuff like this because i don't have special effects okay so your body goes back to this like this being your stomach my fist right and your your stomach tightens to its normal size to its empty size and this is usually when you start to feel hunger again and sweeties it is a good and healthy thing to feel hunger it is good let yourself go there i want to encourage you to yet yeah, to get the courage to let yourself go there because in today's age and society we are not letting ourselves be hungry again now i'm not saying starving but let you just let yourself just feel that you are hungry because that is your god-given sign of your body that it's time to eat you know it's like an alarm clock for yourself that has been built into your body to tell you it's time to be hungry now everybody who just keeps eating and eating and every half an hour has a little snack and this and that and the other thing never gets that never gets to have this it's a good thing to feel your body to listen to your body it's something that we actually have to start learning again because we have been trained to not have that anymore right in so many things in so many things i could make videos about for example your menstruation how it go how good it is to hear your body also in that in everything you know okay so let's just go back in to this here because <laughs> getting off topic here so let's say this would have been your normal amount of food, okay? So let's just think this could maybe be a nice salad. Let's just say this was a salad, okay? Now, if you think that the salad was just a first course and now you still have to eat the main course and the main course let's say even it is something healthy okay let's say it is a steak with um i don't know steamed vegetables and i don't know whatever whatever it may be okay so now we had as the first course the salad or a soup or whatever you want to say okay and then we are eating the main course now get a lot of this get a load of this this is how we stretch our body now this doesn't even include what you drink yet right because also that will stretch your stomach also that will stretch your stomach and then there is not even dessert there is not even the snickle snackle that you eat after while you're sitting together in like nice company or whatever you know so that that is crazy sweeties just imagine when i stand up now and show you that my stomach is located here this is not my stomach. This is absolutely not my stomach. I don't even have enough space in my body to, to accommodate that, right? So, and I'm not a tiny person. I'm not petite in any way at all, right? So, I mean, I have broad shoulders. I have broad hips. I am curvy. I'm curvy. I'm not fat, but I'm curvy. And I, that's a good thing. I love it. But uh, th this is not what fits into my stomach. But, sweeties, it used to it absolutely used to fit because my body was used to this that also means that if your body is used to this and only feels that it is satisfied when it is like this that means when it goes back down to this stage it already starts to feel hungry again which is crazy because you know the stomach is tightening around whatever is left but it is not really empty and that is not a good thing what it does to your digestion and everything you know it is really really crazy when you think about it what we are actually on a regular basis doing to ourselves because this is how how our life has gone all you can eat restaurants or the amazing amazing portion sizes in restaurants or like even when i i'm also guilty about that uh when i put food on the plates of my children or at least when they were smaller and i still used to do that and i just thought this is a good amount of food for my kid that i that it should eat and then i was like why don't you eat why don't you finish your food don't you love me right isn't it like this you take it personal because you cooked the food and your child doesn't want to eat it or doesn't want to finish it it's because the child has a stomach that is like this and i just gave it i don't know like 
this amount of food? How can it possibly eat that amount of food? How am I training my child? This is not the right thing to do right so anyway so that is what it is you know so I just wanted with this picture here I just wanted to show you let me just put this to the side um, I just wanted to show you how crazy this is okay because when we are talking about uh, portion control it might look really really small to you really really little but let me tell you that your body gets used to this your body gets used to having a smaller a stomach again and in the beginning it might be a little bit annoying and it might be also a little bit scary to think that you're gonna go through like a week or two where you're actually maybe going to be even a little bit panicky because you think you're not getting enough food the thing is if you have an eating issue I don't want to even say it's in disorder in my case it is but in some people's it's just issues you know you have issues with food you tend to overeat you tend to not eat regularly whatever not everything is an eating disorder but if you think that you have an issue there okay then just know that this passes it passes because you can retrain your body your body is a very 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 smart entity and it can relearn it can be reprogrammed like a computer right so i'm not saying we're all robots <laughs> we are all individuals and we're all a little bit different so for some people it is easier and for some people it is of course a little bit harder but it is possible and this is also a message that i want to have very very strong in these kinds of videos that there is always help it's never a helpless or hopeless situation there is always something you can do okay and get yourself help if you need the help because the encouragement that you can get in therapy or even like if it's not private therapy than maybe in a therapy group or Weight Watchers or whatever like I don't I'm not promoting any of these groups but just saying that this this feeling of you're not alone and you have someone who is actually taking care of you if you trust that person of course there has to be some kind of like a personal connection um, that really really helps like for me it made all the difference because for me for me on myself I could not carry this this responsibility in that moment for myself it is a thing about growing up it is a thing about uh, taking responsibility for yourself we are much more likely to take responsibility for someone else before we start taking responsibility for ourselves like for example as a mother it is much easier for us to tell our kids what to do to be in charge of their life to figure out their problems whatever and we always come last and that has to change sweeties we are worth it and we have to be first in a few things we do because if we are not in a good position nobody else is going to manage okay so that's why in a few things we absolutely have to come first so let's just then go into the portion sizes and I was doing some digging and doing some research and I wanted to actually bring you um, things like items from real life to show you what a normal portion size is that will expand your stomach in the right amount and will let your stomach also go back down and empty out out. so after three hours or three and a half hours you will be hungry again and you can have your little next meal okay but I found something better and that was actually with the help of Esther and I also found uh, more online regarding that because I wanted you to be able to wherever you are without having those objects to compare it to let me just give you an, an example I I don't I didn't bring anything that I wanted to bring but let's just say this palette here okay so that could be maybe an amount of a slice of bread okay so i just wanted to bring you different different items from normal life that could show you that this is a normal amount for one meal okay a normal amount without the toppings now just a slice of bread okay okay so but I thought nobody is going to when they're going to a restaurant or whatever or to meet friends and eat out or whatever nobody is going to take all these items along right so I wanted to give you something that you actually always have with you and that is your hands that is your hands because we have all the measuring that we need to do right here so I have this here on a sheet of paper so I'm going to just look down because um, I just <laughs> Don't want to make a mistake now okay your clenched fist okay is about the serving size of one cup and you can measure with this cooked rice cooked pasta potato and fruits 
just so you know, okay? You're allowed to have this. You're allowed to have your pasta, you're allowed to have your rice, whatever. But this is not the amount of the uncooked product. It is the amount of the cooked product, okay? So that is what it is. This is what will give you a nice amount in your stomach without over expanding the whole situation. Okay, then we have the size of a palm, okay? That is good for meat, chicken, fish, for your good proteins, okay? This is the amount. This is it, sweeties. And you do not need more. Okay, I wish I could just chop off my fingers now because it looks like this, this whole part. It's not the whole hand, it's basically till here. Okay, your palm. This is the amount that is a normal, healthy serving size of protein. The next thing is a handful, which is basically what fits into like your cupped hand like this, okay? And I'm not saying that there should be a Mount Everest on top of it. It's just what fits sort of flat into your cupped hand. And that is, for example, dried fruits and nuts. So that is also what I'm doing because I personally, I could go crazy with proteins. I love meat, I love chicken, I love fish, I love all of that. I could just eat only that. And I also love dried nuts and, uh, dried nuts, obviously, roasted nuts, natural nuts, uh, dried fruits. I could go crazy with this. These these are my two points where I could absolutely always fall off the wagon. And for me, it is super, super important to know how much is good for me. Because I never want to say don't eat that because that's going to just drive me nuts. But to know I am allowed to, but this is the amount that I'm going to have now and that is fine. You know, you actually start to enjoy that amount much more when you're eating it with uh, being aware of what you're doing then when you're just stuffing your face while you're watching TV or something and you at the end of the day don't even know what you ate when you get up from TV you don't even know what what did I eat even you know did I even eat anything maybe it's time to get dinner right like really so if you eat with awareness then those portion sizes will not be a problem you will actually be very very proud of yourself okay the next thing is two handfuls that is what fits <laughs> like this Okay, this is two handfuls and that is vegetables, sweeties. <laughs> I hope you like your vegetables. Vegetables is going to be the main thing that you live off. And I personally make the choice to basically only eat raw vegetables because I, for myself, want to be as close to nature as I can possibly be. Um, but of course you can also use cooked or steamed or baked or whatever, as long as it doesn't swim in fat. Right? So I would steer away from frying in general because that just adds loads and loads of calories, unnecessary calories, but um, it is what it is. So vegetables, two handfuls. That is a good amount of food, you know, really. Okay, the next thing is the thumb. So this is your fats. I'm not talking about the nuts now. I'm talking about butter, peanut butter, or like even hard cheese or something like this. This is the amount that is a healthy amount. It's not that much, is it? <laughs> but just don't forget how much else you're getting. You know, you're getting a lot here. And when you think, when you add it all together, that is still a very, very big amount, which a normal person would probably not even be able to eat, seriously, like with a normal stomach size, right? Okay, then we have the tip of the thumb, which is about a teaspoon's worth, and that is oils, that is mayonnaise, and that is margarine. Stay away from margarine. Margarine is poison, okay? But let's say butter and, and oils. That's what it is, this part, okay? So oils are very, very important, but don't forget, uh, because we are also getting oils in the nuts and things like this, okay? Or in vegetables, like for example, in avocado, okay? So it's not just the pure oils that are giving us oils, it's also in other foods, and that is actually probably better in a lot of cases. So just saying that that is basically all you have, you know, all you have is here. And that is what you're taking along to wherever you are. So you can, of course, you're not going to put the food actually into your hands and measure it. But at some point, your eyes will measure it for you. Would that, you know, more or less fit into my hands? Would it be like that? And then there is another aspect to it that uh, we have to learn to leave food on our plates. Now, I personally have the hardest time with that. I come from a home where when I grew up, we didn't have a lot. 
Uh, my father was the only one who earned money in the family. My mother here and there, but not really. We had five kids and we had, my father had a very, very low salary. So we struggled. We had a lot in our garden that we had, you know, for like vegetables and stuff. But other than that, we knew whatever we get on our table, on our plate, this is what we eat. And we are not going to complain, you know? So that is, uh, we, we finished our plates. We were not allowed to get up before we finished our plates because we were not in the position to like constantly serve food right so I grew up like this you finish your plate that is what you do you don't even ask questions that's what it is right so I for me personally it was the hardest thing to ever get up from the table and leave something on the plate or in the restaurant. How can I get up from the, from my, my table in the restaurant leaving something that I paid for? Like, how wasteful is that? But we have the right to do that, sweeties, because the restaurants are serving way too much food. They're serving way too much food. Unless you go, of course, in like a luxury restaurant where they're actually serving smaller, smaller amounts of food. But I think most of us don't do that on a regular basis. So we are allowed to leave stuff on our plate. I always got told about the children in Africa who are starving and that's why I have to finish my plate. Nobody is going to feel better in Africa just because I forced myself to be unhealthy, right? This is, that doesn't make sense at all. The better thing is just take less from the get-go. Just take less and in case you do one more, then you can have a second serving. But you cannot have two full plates, sweeties. Start with smaller dishes. That helps. That absolutely helps. If you're eating instead from a dinner plate, you're eating from a breakfast plate. That is absolutely going to help you because your plate is still going to be full. And in case you do need a second serving, it's still going to be less than when you have a full dinner plate full of food. So if you need the safety net that you have to, to have the feeling that you could potentially take a second serving, then that is a very, very good tool what you can do. So that is basically more or less what I want to say about the portion sizes. Everything else is going to come in videos down the line. So I have still a lot that I want to share with you. If you're interested, please let me know. I think this is just such a thing that we need to know all these things because a lot has gotten lost. A lot of normal thinking, a lot of normal listening to our bodies to know when we are, once we are actually satisfied to be able to put down fork and knife and say I'm done and it's okay and I do not feel to, uh, have to feel guilty. Also when you're invited, I don't know, it's your in-laws, like how can you dare to leave food at the plate? That's in personal insult to your mother-in-law. No, it's not. It's not. You're done. You know, we have to be worth ourselves to say no. It's okay to say no. Like we say no to so many things. I mean, there are people demonstrating for all kinds of things, okay, who say no, but we have to start for ourselves to say no. And we also have to start to, ser to learn to say yes, but for the right things. Okay, so that is basically what I'm trying to do with my videos here that are connected to weight loss because I feel like I, I have had 40 years of learning, 40 years of extreme ups and downs and struggling ever since I can remember with this. You know, feeling left out, feeling horrible, either being too thin or being too fat but always feeling horrible. And I just want to be in a place at almost age 41 now where I can say, this is good. This is good. This is how I was supposed to be. I'm finally reaching my destination where I can say, yes, I have this. This is what I have now. I own this. This is mine. Okay. So this is where I want us all to get. If you want to, <laughs> then please join me on the journey, please, um, because I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet, but I feel that I'm reaching the destination and I feel much more stronger than I've ever been in this whole topic. So that is what it is. Okay, so if you want that too, then please subscribe to my channel because we can definitely share this journey together. I'm always also happy to hear your feedback about those videos, about your own personal stories. And if you don't want to have a public comment in the comment section, then you can also, of course, contact me on private messages on my social media if you want to. I'm here to listen to you. If I can help, I will. 
just so you know I'm not a therapist I'm not a doctor like if you need help then please get it where you live but I'm always here to listen to you and give you my support in whichever way I can okay sweetie so this is it for today I hope you did enjoy please stick around check out my other content if you just found me and besides that I wish you have an awesome day or an awesome evening depending on when you're watching this and I'll see you here next time for my next video which is going to be super soon and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye